Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and having a fantastic week. Today's video is a really highly requested video, so I'm really excited to be making it. And that is how to make a healthy seed mix for your parrot. Now quite often there's two schools of thought with seeds. Some people say seeds are awful, you should never feed seeds to your birds. And some people feed loads of seeds to their birds because pet shops sell great big bags of seeds, so why wouldn't you? The thing with commercial seed mixes is they're often filled with really carbohydrate or fat filled seeds and they're really not great for your birds however if you choose the correct seeds and you soak them for a number of hours which I'll talk about a little bit later in the video then you actually make them healthier because the process of soaking starts the germination process within the seed and it just uses up all those fat reserves in there and just makes them really healthy so this is why I wanted to make this video that you can include seed in your birds diet um, but it's better to pick the right kinds of seeds and seeds that are really filled with lots of vitamins and minerals. So for this video I'm really excited to say that I'm working with Buy Whole Foods Online. I've been a customer of theirs for a really long time and I absolutely love the site. I also apologise it's really sunny today and the birds just know when I'm filming so it's always a, a scrum fest. Buy Whole Foods Online have an amazing array of ingredients you can actually give to your birds which I'll show you a bit later in the video but uh, I just think they're incredible. The quality of their products is amazing and really consistent as well. The prices are great and one of my favourite sweet treats is from there as well which is yoghurt coated honeycomb so can't go wrong really. So some of you may be wondering how much is this going to cost me to create my own seed mix? It's so cheap to go and grab a bag of seed from the shop. The thing is you want to be paying for good quality ingredients because quite often if something is really cheap more often than not it's going to be low quality. For example some of the lowest quality seed mixes on the market which are full of things like millet, sunflower seeds, peanuts, they are usually at around 35 pence per 100 grams of seed which is really cheap. Now the premium kind of seed mixes as they call themselves, which are normally full of safflower seeds and dried fruit, they normally come in at about usually 50 pence per 100 grams. And the super premium, which is quite similar to the composition of what I'm creating, normally comes in almost at two pounds per 100 grams. So that is quite a lot of money. But I've costed my seed mix, and if you were to buy the minimum amount of ingredients to create your seed mix, it would come in at about 55 pence per 100 grams. So that's around the kind of premium mark, but you're getting good quality, wholesome nutrition for your bird. That's also really, really important to remember that seed should not be the main part of your bird's diet. Your bird's diet, with the exception of, you know, fruit and nectar eating birds like lorries and lorikeets, should be made up primarily of vegetables. And not just any old vegetables, but a wide variety, mostly greens, um, and a little bit of fruit here and there, sprouted legumes, sprouted seeds as I'm going to show you and the right kinds of seeds too, some nuts and flowers and herbs. So I'm sure many of you will be asking me how much of this should I give my birds and it really is going to depend on your species. If you don't know already I have cockatiels and conyers and a typical diet makeup for them in the morning would be two teaspoons of vegetables, a, a really nice mix of them as well, and then usually a teaspoon of sprouted seeds, grains and legumes. So I would do about a teaspoon of that plus loads of great veggies to give a real balance to your bird's diet. Now I mentioned before that these seeds need to be soaked and that is to make them healthy. Also some of them are slightly harder to digest if they were just to be fed straight dry so it's always best to try and soak your seeds if possible and if some of you were out there thinking oh well I've got a bag of seed mix I'll just soak that instead. Some of the seed mixes have seeds that are unable to be soaked and made better because of how they've been treated so that's just something to consider as well. So I'm sure you're probably thinking come on Sophie let's see what seeds are in your healthy seed mix. Well, wait no longer, here we go. We're gonna start off with amaranth grain. Now, amaranth grain says it's a grain, but it is actually a seed. But what's great about it is it's low in fat, but really high in protein and fiber. And protein can be really hard to find in a bird's diet, but it's so important because bird feathers, for example, are made out of protein. It's essential for the body to function normally, and it's just a great uh, macronutrient to have in your bird's diet. Amaranth grain is also a source of iron and magnesium and it also contains loads of amino acids which again is so important for the body to function normally which you can't find in a lot of seeds and grains. Next up are oat groats which again are another great ingredient that's why I included it in this seed mix and they are also high in fibre and protein. In addition to this they're also absolutely packed with vitamins including potassium, calcium, magnesium, vitamin E and lots of B vitamins as well which is really great so it provides a really complete nutritional profile. 
The next ingredient is brown linseed. Now this is fantastic because it's full of omega-3 fatty acids, again, which are sometimes hard to find to get into your bird's diet. And it's also another great source of protein. As well as this, it's also packed full of B vitamins, just like the oat grapes, which are super important for your birds. Now you'll see a lot of information online about brown linseed saying that it needs to be ground in order for your birds to eat it because it's a little bit harder to digest because it's got quite a hard shell. However, if you soak them, then it makes them much softer and they can digest them as the whole seed. Next up, we have raw buckwheat. Again, another great ingredient to include in your bird's seed mix. Now, it's not actually technically wheat, it is a seed, and it's also low in fat, which is great. Now, it has a really earthy, nutty flavor, which is gonna to appeal to lots of birds. And not only is it a source of protein, but it's also a source of carbohydrates. And birds do need to have some carbohydrates in their diet to keep them healthy and as an energy source. And lastly, buckwheat is also fantastic because it's high in trace elements, such as manganese, iron, and phosphorus. The next ingredient is spelt grain. Now what's interesting about spelt grain is it was first cultivated over 9,000 years ago, which I mean, I think is kind of interesting. So it is a type of wheat, but it also has that great nutty flavor. So again, another one that's gonna really appeal to your birds. And as well as this, it's also another great source of fiber, which is super important for digestion. Next up is kamut grain, which is quite similar to spelt in that it's a very old grain that has been created in the same way and grown in the same way for thousands of years. Kamut is another brilliant source of protein for your birds, and it also has a really sweet, buttery taste to it. So again, another one that's gonna to appeal to some of those sweet beaks out there. And the final ingredient for my seed mix is one of my birds' favorites, which is hemp seed. Now it is a little bit higher in fat, but it is a really great one to include in your bird's diet because it's a source of protein, and it's also really high in magnesium as well. Now I did say it's higher in fat, but it is high in good fats, such as omega threes, sixes, and nines, which again is something that can be challenging to find to put into your bird's diet. It's also really good for quite anxious birds. It's uh, quite calming, um, and it's also just a really enjoyable seed. We use it for training seeds uh, for our Birds, but for the purposes of this video I'm including it in my seed mix because I think your birds are going to love it too. And finally hemp seeds are also packed full of amino acids which I've said before is really really important for your birds body to function properly. Now in order to bring this seed mix all together I'm going to add equal parts into a box or a bowl wherever I want to keep it but you should keep it in an airtight container once you've combined all of the ingredients. So I'm going to use probably about 100 grams of each we'll see how it looks uh, and then I will show you how to prepare it via the soaking method and then hopefully the birds will enjoy it as well. So now that your seed is all beautifully mixed, what I do to sprout the seeds is I get my sprouting jar. I've got this on my Amazon store. I'll pop a link in the description as well. It's nice and easy to use. And then you just wanna get a few teaspoons, depending on how many birds you have. I normally do a teaspoon for each of my birds and then one for luck. And then once you put that into your sprouting jar, you want to use a drop of apple cider vinegar. Now you need to use one that is unpasteurized and with the mother. Just a little drop in there, doesn't need to be much, and then fill the entire jar with water. Then you want to sprout these seeds for 8 to 12 hours. You can either do it overnight while you're sleeping, or if you're in school or at work, you can do it, and then they can have it for their evening meal. So I'm going to get this soaked now, and then we'll see if the birds like their new seed mix. So before I show you what the birds think of this, I thought I'd just show you what it looks like when it's in the soaking jar. So I've popped my little bit of ACV in there and then I've popped the water in and then some of the seeds will float, that's perfectly normal. Some will sink to the bottom. You're gonna leave this for eight to 12 hours. Don't disturb it, just leave it be. And then once that's done, you want to drain these. I use this sprouting jar because it does have that kind of sieve lid to it, so it's super easy. But you could just use any old glass jar and a normal kitchen sieve. Um, and then you want to just give it a quick rinse just to make sure you're getting rid of all of that apple cider vinegar. And then it's perfectly fine to serve. And I would only serve this fresh. I wouldn't make it in advance and then leave it in the fridge. It's so easy to do. You don't need to micromanage. You just leave it to soak whilst you're at work, school, or whatever it is you do during the day. These will be getting ready for your birds and they'll be getting super healthy because they're soaking. So I hope your birds enjoy. Let's see what my birds think.
So thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you'd like to add more ingredients, you're absolutely okay to do that. Leave a comment down below and I can give you some suggestions if you'd like to broaden the variety of the ingredients. I just wanted to give these ones because it's a really great nutritional profile and it's quite affordable for a lot of people who are already buying a similar seed mix. And again, thank you so much to Buy Whole Foods Online for supplying the ingredients for this video. I really appreciate it. They're absolutely fantastic. Make sure you go and check them out. Links in the description because they have some brilliant offers on there. They also have a VIP program. If you sign up to it on their email list, which is totally free, you get loads of offers through and they're very generous with them as well. So definitely go and check them out. But from me and Olive and the very noisy birds, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Take care and see you later.